Last night, the Central Park Five is a documentary based on an assault and rape that took place in New York City's Central Park in 1989. The victim was Trisha Miley. Five teenagers, four black and one Latino were tried and convicted for the crime. After having spent between six and 13 years each in prison, a serial rapist confessed to being the real culprit. They were the five then children who were charged in the infamous Central Park jogger case of 1989 and what our film is an attempt to do is to try to at least restore to them a sense of just who they are, their identities beyond this uh, at least initially horrific label of the, the wolf pack. Five youths were arrested at 96th Street. Co-director Ken Burns along with his daughter Sarah Burns and her husband David McMahon unveiled their big screen documentary The Central Park Five as part of the American Film Institute Festival. Three of the five wrongly convicted men were also there for the screening. What did you do? Who were you with? Who did you come with? The tone was very scary. I felt like they might take us to the back of the precinct. Well, it's been tremendous. I mean, this right here, um, for, for us as, as, as individuals, has given us great, great dignity and great, given us our dignity back and given us a voice that before um, was being told. Like, everyone, everyone was told who we were and who we are. And now we're able to tell our own stories. A lot of people didn't do their jobs. The film does not go into great detail about the pending federal lawsuit against New York City in which the five men and their families are seeking $50 million each in damages. And we walked away from our crime. To just inform people about what happened in this case and who these guys are is really the purpose of our film. Uh, you know, the fact that this lawsuit has gone on for nearly 10 years is to me an outrage. Um, and I hope that our film informs people about the story behind that so that they can, they can understand what's really going on. These young men were guilty. It was almost unquestioned. The police controlled the story. They created the story. The documentary raises more important questions about the justice system and media. The Central Park Five, which was presented at the Cannes Film Festival, will hit movie theaters in the United States at the end of November. No blood on the kids. Nobody could identify them.